imagine yourself squeezing a tennis ball as hard as you can for every second of every day for your entire life. That's how hard your heart must work. Over your lifetime, your heart will beat over 2.5 billion times and it will pump over 210 million liters of blood. And that's the equivalent of leaving your kitchen faucet on for 45 consecutive years. That's from a single heart of one single individual. But have you ever wondered how the heart forms? Well, I can tell you that the heart is the first organ that is formed and functional during fetal development. From the diagram on the top, you can see during the second week of pregnancy, this crescent-shaped organ will undergo massive changes and reorganization, eventually giving rise to the mature heart five weeks later. So at the seventh week of your pregnancy, your heart is fully formed and functional, pumping blood, oxygen, and nutrients to all your organs. This continues uninterrupted for the entire duration of your life. From the complexity of the diagram, you can tell this process it must be highly regulated and it re and requires extreme precision. Even the smallest mistake in this process will result in a malformed heart. So that is why this is the most common birth defect in humans, affecting more than 20 million people in the world today. So my, th my PhD thesis project looks at one of these factors in heart development. This factor is a machinery that is needed to produce nitric oxide, shown here. Nitric oxide has two functions. First, it relaxes blood vessels. And second, it is crucial in the formation of the heart. So during my PhD study, I have discovered that when you don't have this machinery, your heart will be mal malformed. First, there will be a hole in between the two chambers of your heart, which, as you can imagine, can be detrimental and leads to reduced function and possibly early fetal death. Second and more importantly, the vessels that supply blood and oxygen and nutrients to the heart are extremely small. So this means the lack of blood supplying to the heart is similar to a heart attack in adults. So now try to imagine a newborn baby having a heart attack. That's very serious and could result in a lot of death. So recently, my study in mice has been confirmed in humans. So with this knowledge at hand, we hope that we can use it to screen babies that has a problem with this machinery and provide them with nitric oxide so they can form a normal and healthy heart. Thank you.